Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But don't just sit there, my wee cream buns. Come on, let's get moving. We're going to play a game of crazy golf. Now, put this down here. This is our target. OK, Stephen, you can go first. Right, ready, Stephen? Now, watch out, Megan, my love. Better, you're fabulous. There you go. Oh, good shot, Megan. Right, well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen, but someone's missing from home today. Come on, Stephen. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on, come and see Granny. That's the way. Come and say hello to Samson, everyone. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh. Whoa, inside crazy golf. That looks like fun on a chilly day like today. Oh, it is a cold day, isn't it? Oh, I know. Why don't you wrap Claude up for a cool day? See how many layers you can put on him. It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. And with Samson snug in his basket, why don't we go and cuddle up into the armchairs? Good idea. <laughs> so what's up with the crazy golf, Granny Murray? Well, it's the River Sea Fingal Crazy Golf Tournament today. Oh, is it really? Yes. I'm going to take the children and Samson along to watch. Oh, you do amaze me, Granny Murray. Your interest knows no bounds. Oh, what do you mean? Well, fancy liking golf. Why not? My Angus loved it. He played it in all weathers. He played in the sun and he played in the rain. Oh, with one of those great big golfing umbrellas. That's the one. <laughs> he even played it in the snow once too. <sighs> I've never understood the game myself. All that hitting of balls into sand pits. Oh, but it's good exercise, eh? All that walking. Mm, I suppose. <laughs> Do you know, Angus and I went to play golf once on a cold winter's day. He was carrying his golf clubs and I was carrying a picnic basket and Oh, well, it was quite a long walk and I was getting quite hot. As you would carrying a picnic. That's right. But eventually, when we arrived at the golf course, Angus tried to take out his clubs and they were frozen solid in the bag. Because I'd got so hot walking, I didn't realise how cold it really was. Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, it's true, you know. Sometimes it's colder than you think. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't think Claude is in any danger of freezing up. <laughs> oh. oh, you won't feel the cold through that lot, Claude. No, we must remember and wrap up warm like Claude when we go to see the crazy golf today. <laughs> oh, have fun, Samson. Uh, oh, oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Megan. You take that golf ball to remind you of where Samson's going today. I will. Now remember, sometimes it's colder than you think. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on. Now, do I go down? Or which
Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my wet clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. There, that will remind me of Samson having fun whilst I do some work. Oh, Nurse Hendry, what's that about? Sorry, that's what you shout out when you whack a golf ball into the air. <laughs> Oh, and it looks like somebody hit this ball a very long way. <laughs> Oi, that's mine. Granny Murray gave me this this morning, and it arrived here in my pocket, not through the air. Granny Murray's into golf, is she? Apparently so. She's going to be watching the crazy golf tournament this afternoon. <laughs> well, I'll see her there then. What, you're going to be watching the tournament as well? Watching? No. Playing? Yes. I've got all my gear here and everything. See? Ta-da! Oh, wow, this is exciting. And look, you've even got a little woolly hat and everything. <laughs> oh, don't you wear this hat until I've put a Harlequin Hospital badge on this. The badge will bring you good luck. Oh, thanks. Uh, you remember I'm knocking off early today? Uh-huh, don't worry. Oh. Samson's going to be watching Nurse Hendry play this afternoon. How cool is that? I love to see it. Order, you need to keep moving to stay warm. So let's march on this spot and shake our hands. Now run fast as you can. Woohoo! And star jumps. Woo! Are you warm right now, Megan? Yeah. Oh, so am I. I hope Dr. Juno's nice and warm where she is. Sorry to interrupt, but there's a friend of yours here and I really think you should take a look at him. OK. Who is it? It's Raymond. Okay. Oh, hiya, Raymond. <laughs> What's happened? Oh, don't tell me. You fell off your stilts. <laughs> you slipped in a banana skin. You had to go up skateboarding. Doctor, you know, I really don't think Raymond's very well. Oh, um, it's very shivery. Raymond, can you stop shivering for me, please? <sighs> oh, good. Can you tell me what happened? Well... I was changing trains, but I left my hat and my coat on the first train, and then I was standing around for ages waiting on the second train, but without my hat and coat. By the time the train did come along, I was not, not feeling too good. Well, it's a very cold day. You're left outside without your hat and coat. I think you might have mild hypothermia. Oh. But the fact that you could actually tell us what happened is a good sign. Oh. <laughs> I'll get him something to drink then. Just some warm water with some sugar. I'll phone Tina and tell her what's happened. Right. Okay. Well, you sit tight, Raymond. You'll be fine. <laughs> Poor Raymond. Left outside without his hat and coat. But we'll take care of him. I better get down to some hard work. <laughs> it's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there Oh yeah I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed Yeah To hear the heart Ah, oh, 
Nurse Hendry. Oh, how's Raymond? Oh, uh, Lisa and Tina have come to visit him and he's back to his usual chatty self. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, so you're off? Yep, off to the crazy golf tournament. <sighs> Hole in one and the crowd go wild. Oh, good luck, Nurse Hendry. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, Samson and Granny Murray will be watching you. Oh, my wacky dog. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. That's it, my darlings, eat up. It's important to get a good hot meal inside you before you go out into the cold. Keeps you warm from the inside out, <laughs> doesn't it, Samson? <laughs> he's got to keep warm too, even though he's got a lovely big coat. There we are, Samson. <laughs> We'll tell Dr. Juno what a good boy you are. <laughs> oh, right, Samson. I better get down to some work. Okay. Paper. Ooh. Paper. Paper. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. This is Nurse Henry's woolly hat. Oh. I've been working hard all day looking after everyone and now Nurse Henry's gone and left his woolly hat. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At nine o'clock I arrived at Granny Murray's with Samson. The children were playing a game of crazy golf. They were playing indoors because it was cold outside. At ten o'clock Nurse Henry popped in to tell me that he would be playing in the River Sea Finger Crazy Golf Tournament. He was planning on wrapping up nice and warm against the cold. I borrowed Nurse Henry's hat so I could stick a Harlequin Hospital badge on it. I thought it might bring him luck in the tournament. At 11 o'clock, we had a bit of an emergency. Raymond came into the hospital suffering from mild hypothermia. He'd been left waiting for a train without his coat and hat. He was cold and shivery and needed to be warmed up with a warm, sweet drink. At 2 o'clock, Nurse Henry came to tell me that Raymond was feeling much better. Miss Henry left for the crazy golf tournament. At three o'clock, I realised that he set off for the tournament without his woolly hat, because I had it to stick on a badge. Now remember, sometimes it's colder than you think. Sometimes it's colder than you think. Well, today may be colder than Nurse Henry thinks. Well, I need to get his woolly hat to him because I don't want him to end up as shivery as Raymond. But it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it, I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a sure thing I'm going to she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. She's going to start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, let the tournament begin. <laughs> I better get back to work. I hope Samson has a great time at the crazy golf tournament. Must be a lucky hat. <laughs> oh, Samson, do you want to go? Oh, never mind, darling. We'll be going home soon, and Dr. Ginny will be coming to pick you up. Wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it's colder than you think. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now. I want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. 
Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in lots and lots of winter woolies because it was very cold outside today and we didn't want Claude getting chilly. Dr Juno came along with Samson. She saw that we'd been playing a made-up game of crazy golf. We played it inside because it was very cold out. I told Dr Juno that I was going to take Samson and the children along to see the River Sea Fingal Crazy Golf Tournament later on. After Dr Juno left for work, we wrapped up in our hats, scarves and gloves. We ran about outside for a while, but it was nice to come back into the warm. Later on, we had a good hot meal so that when we went to see the Crazy Golf Tournament, we'd be warm from the inside out. Dr Juno remembered that I told her, sometimes it's colder than you think. She took Nurse Henry's hat along to the crazy golf tournament. He hadn't realised quite how cold it was without his hat and he was very glad when Dr Juno brought it along. He even got a hole in one. Good old Dr Juno keeping everybody well and warm. <laughs> I hope you're feeling well and warm today. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, cherry buns. Come on, let's get busy. Awful silly today. Do you know why? No. Because today is tell a joke day and that's when we play silly tricks like <laughs> whoopee cushions <laughs> and <laughs> clown's horns. Now I'll tell you a joke and see if you think it's funny. Are you ready? Yes. I say, I say, I say, what do you call a happy hippopotamus? I don't know. Uh, Happy Potamus! <laughs> <laughs> Silly. Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Jack with Rudy. Hello there. Rudy! Hi, Hi Granny Hello Murray. there and Jack. Well done. Three we come. <laughs> hey! Oh, wow! Sounds like a joke shop in here. <laughs> oh, well, we've been practising for tell a joke day. <gasps> wow. Oh, I like the sound of that. OK. <clears throat> I say, I say, I say. Where did the sheep go to get a turkey? I don't know. The barbers. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you all dress Claude up as a funny man? I say, I say, I say. Why did the bicycle fall over? It was too tired. Oh. <laughs> oh, I need to sit down after that. <laughs> oh, me too. My tummy aches from laughing. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. Oh, Rudy, do you want to pull a cracker with me for tell a joke day? Oh, yeah, go on. There's always a joke inside a cracker. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, I say. What noise does a cat make in a racing car? <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> <laughs> oh, silly. I'll remember that one to tell my customers. You know, my Angus was a proper joker, but sometimes he took it too far. Oh, what do you mean? Well, once he and his big band were playing at a dance, and he stopped the music and said, <clears throat> Gentles and ladymen, I shall now play for you the Waterfall Symphony. <laughs> <laughs> then he took out a big hose pipe and soaked everyone in the dance floor. Oh, oh, oh. Some of the dancers were very Cross. <gasps> you see, you should always know when it's time to stop. Hey, and I think we should stop chatting and go and check Claude out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, Rudy, come and smell Claude's flower. <clears throat> okay. Toast! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, so through. Oh. <laughs> Jack, you little whoopy snapper. <laughs> Is that for me? Yeah. Oh, I'll have some fun with this at work, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
See you all later. Come on. Bye bye. <laughs> Now remember, always know when it's time to stop. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? Oh, there's no time to walk today. Can you tell me a quicker way to get to work? Thanks. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in, in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take her, take a trip in a taxi. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the streets now. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Winding, winding, winding drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets now. Squeaking, squeaking to a stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Phew! Thanks for that! Now what? Ah yeah, I need to put on my work clothes! <laughs> All dressed and ready to go! <laughs> I reckon I'm going to have some fun at work today! <laughs> Morning, Rudy! Oh, hello, Mickey John! Hey, have you heard what day it is today? Yep, it's tell a joke day! I say, I say, I say! What do you get when a cow's got hiccups? Milkshake! <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a donkey with three legs? A wonky! <laughs> a wonky! <laughs> oh, Mickey John! Oh, I wish every day was tell a joke day. Yeah, I expect you'll be telling jokes to your customers all day, won't you? Oh, you try and stop me. I can't wait. How about giving away a joke with everything you sell? Where would I get the jokes from? Well, as it happens, I've got a huge collection of cracker jokes. I've been saving them up since I was ten. I'll drop them by and you can put one in every bag. Back soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wonder how my little Joker Jack's getting on today. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. You look like Tina Taxi. <laughs> you put that on then, because that's what Raymond does on the train, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that's a bad cop. What else do we have in here? That's right. Oh, it's right down to the ground. What a lot of silly sausages. Is that nice? Yeah. Do you like it? <laughs> oh, Jack, I wish Dad was here to share the giggle. <laughs> What are you doing in the market, Daddy? I'm back, Rudy. Oh, hello, Mickey John. Hey, did you bring those cracker jokes? Yep. Listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> what does a farmer use to mend a hole in his trousers? Oh, I don't know. A cabbage patch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll put one in every bag. Yeah, okie dokie. Right, well, i better get back to school. See ya. <laughs> See you later, Mickey John. Right, and I'd best get down to some hard work. And dooby-dooby-doo, I make it look easy. What I dooby-dooby-doo, and what I do is sell to you and you and you. All of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes, it's there for you The market stalls are there to view the market, the market, what a wonderful place The hub of the people, the smiles on each face The market, the market, come look around The hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and 
the selling Cheap or dear The market, the market I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Hello Rudy Hey, hello Bobby Hey, you heard any jokes today? Um, kind of Here, hold out your hands Oh, okay <laughs> what the? <laughs> is it real? Had you fooled? No, it's a rubber worm, but it looks just like a real one. <laughs> it feels just like a real worm too. <laughs> oh, where did you get it? Oh, Kai's got loads of them from this joke shop, and I'm getting a bit fed up with finding them around the house. So I thought you might put them to some good use. Here, <laughs> there's twenty in there. Oh, brilliant, Bobby! Don't worry, I'll find a use for them. <laughs> I'm sure you will. See ya. See you later, Bob's. Oops. <laughs> oh, naughty me. <laughs> oh, rubber worms, eh? <laughs> I wonder what you're wriggling about doing now, Jack. Jack is the way, everybody! <laughs> Having as much fun as us today. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna play a joke that'll really make Jack laugh when I tell him about it. <laughs> I'm gonna hide all of these rubber worms in the fruit and veg. <laughs> right. Oh, hello there, Doc. What can I get for you? Two juicy apples, please. Oh, two juicy apples coming right up. Hey, Doc, I say, I say, I say, what's worse than finding a maggot in your apple? I don't know. <laughs> finding half a maggot in your apple. Oh, very good. That's part of Tell a Joke Day, I suppose. Oh, yep. And you get a free joke in every bag. <laughs> oh, great. I like a good laugh. Oh, in that case, I'll give you an extra bonus joke. <laughs> there you go, Doc. Two lovely juicy apples. And that'll be 50 pence, please. Thanks, Rudy. Oh, oh. <laughs> maybe you should check and see I've given you the right apples first. Oh, all right. Oh! Oh! Oh, there's a worm in the bag! <laughs> it's not a real worm, Doc. <laughs> it's a rubber worm. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Well, I don't think that's very funny, Rudy. What if I'd taken a bite and eaten a bit of rubber worm? Then I would have got an upset tummy. That's a joke too far. Keep your apples. Goodbye. But, but, Doc. Oh, what have I done? I've been working hard all day trying to make my customers laugh because it's tell a joke day, and, oh, I've gone and upset my, my best customer. What will I do? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. They were making funny noises with a whoopee cushion. The children dressed Claude up as a funny man. Granny Murray told me it was tell a joke day. <laughs> we had a great giggle. At eight o'clock, I got to work and started to unpack my stall. At nine o'clock, Mickey John called by and we told each other funny jokes. I laughed and laughed. Mickey John had an idea. I could give away a free joke to every customer. At 10 o'clock, Mickey John came back with a whole bag of cracker jokes for me to put into the fruit and veg bags. Then at 3 o'clock, Bobby arrived and played a joke on me. She put a worm in my hand, but it wasn't real. It was a joke rubber worm. She left me a whole bag of rubber worms to have some fun with. At 4 o'clock, I decided to put the rubber worms all over my stall as a joke. I thought Jack would think it was hilarious. But Dr. Juno didn't. When I put a rubber worm in her bag of apples, she screamed. She said she didn't want to buy my apples after all. She went off in a huff. I've upset my best customer. What can I do? Now remember, always know when it's time to stop. Always know when it's time to stop. That's it. I need to find all of these rubber worms and put them back in the bag before I make one joke too many. I've got one of the worms here, which leaves 19 more to find before my next customer arrives. <laughs> right, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. 
I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's a show us we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, how to work it through. I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song <laughs> Phew! I managed to find all 20 worms And now, they're safely back in the bag <laughs> <coughs> um, Hiya Rudy, I'm sorry I threw off the handle like that No, earlier. no, no Doc, it was my fault I'm really sorry, I didn't mean to upset you I was just a bit shocked, that's all. Oh, no, 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 you were right. We don't want anybody swallowing any rubber worms. I know now when a joke's got to stop. And here are two lovely juicy apples. Absolutely free and absolutely free of worms. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Reedy. See you later. <laughs> See you later, Doc. <laughs> oh, wonder if Jack's got a smile on his face now. Let's play a game of... Jelly giggle? Do you want to? Yeah. Now, we have to eat our jelly and look into each other's eyes, but we mustn't laugh. Are we ready? Yeah. Serious face? No laughing? Go! <laughs> oh, you're too funny, Jack. Honestly, I bet Dad wishes he was you for jelly giggle. I want to be with you, Daddy. Ruby, come away through. Someone to see you, Jack. Hello. Ruby. Hey, give us a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank oh. you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> Oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Always know when it's time to stop. And it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. <laughs> me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a funny man because today was Tell a Joke Day. The children told some brilliant jokes and made some funny noises too. Rudy told me some jokes as well. Then the children and I dressed up in silly clothes. We mixed them all up. <laughs> we looked hilarious. And when we went to the park, we had more fun. We tried to see who could do the funniest silly walk. Back at home, Jack and I had bowls of jelly. So we played Jelly Giggle. It was impossible to keep a straight face. Later, Rudy said he remembered about knowing when it was time to stop. So everything had a happy ending. Come closer if you want to smell the flower. <laughs> oh, did I squirt you? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Emma and we've got Beth. But don't just sit there, pickles. Come on, let's get busy. What's Granny Murray's shelves today? Wow, bird whistlers. Have a wee shot at that. <laughs> well, we've got Emma and we've got Beth, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, yes, 
it's Lisa with Tina. Hello there. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> We three honey pies and see you. Oh my! Oh, it's like the burnt house at the zoo here. Oh, Lisa. I know. But now you're here, Lisa will dress Claude up as a feathery bird and we'll call him a Claude Whooper. <laughs> and we can flutter over to the Cheers Cupcake. Oh, yes, please. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> So what's all this bird stuff about then? Oh well, I've been asked to take part in a bird survey to find out about all the different birds we have in River Sea Fingal. Oh, like budgies and... Oh no, no, wild birds. Birds you'd find out in your garden. Now, I have to jot down all the different birds I see in this notebook and Bobby's coming along to help. And I expect the children will want to join in too. Oh, you'll have a house full. Oh well, the more the merrier, that's what I see. I like bird song. It's so ah, peaceful. Ah. Right, I'd best get up to the garage. I've got to go and pick up some props that Raymond and I will be needing in our performance at the River Sea Fingal Social Club later. Oh, the clubby! What are you doing? Oh, we're doing a sand and snake dance. Nee, 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 nee. <laughs> oh, Claude looks ready to fly. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Granny Murray, there's the first bird for you to jot down. The Claude Whipper. Oh, yes, they're very rare. I'll jot it down. <laughs> well, I'd best be off to work now. Here you are. Oh, a snake puppet. Can you use it in your snake dance? <gasps> Can you use it in my snake dance? Oh, well, well, thank you, Lisa. <laughs> oh, well, I'll see you later. You have a good day with Granny Murray, OK? Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Now remember, the more the merrier. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, clatter, clatter under streets. No squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, in. Of what now? Of course! I have to get ready for work. <laughs> All dressed and ready to go. Light of my life, sweet maid, fair damsel. Raymond! <laughs> Have you come to the Toro? Yep, we'll be needing it for our sand and snake dance tonight. Oh, it's in the garage somewhere. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here it is. Oh, no. Now, we'll have to make that look more like a snake before our show in the clubby tonight. Oh, well, we can pop Lisa's snake puppet on later. Great. So, how about a quick rehearsal? Oh, yes. Well, why don't we just use the snake? As it is just now. OK. <laughs> and how about out there? Right. OK. Ready, love? Yeah. After three. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> oh, that should knock them dead at the clubby tonight. <laughs> oh, right, well. It's time I was at work, but it's only a short shift today, so see you later, love. Oh, bye, love. OK, well, I'll drop this rope off at the clubby while I'm out working in my taxi. I wonder what my little hisser is up to. I love to skip in River Sea Thing, go River Sea Thing, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Thing, go River Sea Thing, go that's for me. 
Okay, who's got seeds and nuts for the bag table? That's the way, Adam, you hang that up. Hang it up there. Oh, that's lovely. Do you think we'll have lots of wee birds coming to feed from our table? Yes. <laughs> I hope we see a blackbird, Lisa. That's your mum's favourite, isn't it? What's it like at work, Mummy? Oh! It seems to be caught under the wheel. It's the handbrake. It's a bit dodgy. I didn't pull it on hard enough. So the taxi has rolled onto the rope. I really must get that handbrake fixed. Now, that's that done. I reckon it's time for me to get down to some hard work. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on trapping and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my pretty pink taxi. People wave me down in my pretty pink taxi. Get into the back and just relax for the ride. Pretty pink taxi, she's going. Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, woo! Cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah. Drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. is getting looser and looser. I really must get it tightened up soon. Hi, Tina. You all set for your show at the cubby tonight? Oh, yes, I think so. Oh, I can't wait. I've never seen a sand and snake dance before, but uh, you're not going to be using a real snake, are you? Because I don't really like snakes all that much. No, don't worry, Mickey John. We're going to be using a rope. Oh, good. With this for that oh. end of it. Oh, Tina, don't scare me like that. Oh, snakes, oh... I'll see you later. Oh, ta ta! See you soon. <laughs> oh, poor Mickey John. Fancy not liking snakes. You wouldn't have to flee, would you, Mr. Snake? No, no. Ah! Oh, get off! Let go my dog! Let go my dog! Oh. I wonder how Lisa's getting on. <laughs> I love to skip. Look at all the birds at our bird table. Look, Bobby. Oh, wow. Oh, this is such fun, Granny Moray. I'm so glad that you asked me over to watch the birds. Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, look, Lisa, there's a blackbird. Oh, tickle on your list, my darling. Well done. Lisa will have to tell your mum we saw a blackbird. <laughs> I must bring you here to Hillington Lane sometime, Lisa. Hmm? Oh, I love it here. Well, just listen to all those birds singing. I could do with some fresh air. I can hear the birds even clearer now. Oh, magic. Well, I could listen to these birds all day. I feel so calm now. Yes, this is just what I needed before I start work again. Oh, my taxi! Oh, I don't believe it. Well, the hand 
Frederick must have come loose again. It's all my own fault. I should have taken a taxi to get the handbrake fixed instead of coming to listen to the birds singing. Oh, I've been working so hard all day. I take a break and then my taxi's ended up in a ditch. Well, what am I going to do? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Lisa at Granny Murray's. She told me they were going to be watching birds later for a special survey. So the children dressed Claude as a feathery bird called the Claude Whooper. At nine o'clock, I got to the garage, ready for work. Raymond called by to look for a rope to use in our sand and snake dance that we're doing at the clubby later. We decided to have a quick rehearsal. At ten o'clock, I was winding up the rope and saw that it was stuck under my taxi tyre. The handbrake was loose, so the taxi rolled backwards onto the rope. But I managed to pull the rope free and put it in the boot. Then at two o'clock, I popped back to the garage and the handbrake came loose again. Luckily, I spotted the taxi rolling backwards in time. Mickey John called in. He was really looking forward to our sand and snake dance. At three o'clock, I stopped for a break to listen to the birds at Hillington Lane. But the handbrake came loose again, and this time I didn't notice. So my taxi has rolled into a ditch. How am I going to get it out? Now remember, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. Well, I could use the rope in my boot to pull the taxi out of the ditch. But I can't do it on my own. So I need to find people to help me. So... The more the merrier. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she'll get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm going to do it I'm going to do it She's going to do it I'm going to beat the clock before the chime I'm going to start it She's going to start it I'm going to do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Thank you, thank you I think you really should get that handbrake looked at, my love. I know, I know. I'll take it into the garage to get it fixed on the way home. What are you doing with that rope? I'm making it look more like a snake for our sand and snake dance later. Hey, I know. Why don't we do our show here as a thank you to all the people who helped to save my taxi? Ready when you are. <laughs> hey, Mr. Snake. A little bird told me that Lisa is having lots of fun with Granny Murray just now. We saw that one. We did see that one. Do you want to put that in Granny Murray's tree? Good girl. Oh, we and saw we that saw. One. Now, do you remember what? What's this one called again? A magpie. Yes, we saw that one. And we saw, we saw you too. too. And we saw them too. We did, a wee blackbird. And you know something? Your mum is going to be flying over to pick you up and take you home soon. <laughs> Granny Murray? You betcha! Yeah. Well, you say thanks to Granny Murray. Oh, Thank you, Granny Murray. Music I do. <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. The more the merrier. It saved the day. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Come on, you'll want to be home. <laughs> Bye-bye, my darlings. Looking forward to next time. Oh, me too. <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special? 
special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a bird because we were getting ready to look at all the different birds that visit my garden. The children and I set up a bird table. We put all sorts of food on it to make sure we had plenty of birds to watch. Bobby came round and we had a brilliant time spotting the different birds that came to tuck in at the bird table. We made a list of all the birds we'd seen. Later, we stuck bird pictures on a tree. Tweet, tweet! Tina saw some birds as well, but she was so busy listening to them that she had a wee accident with her taxi. But Tina remembered me saying, the more the merrier. It saved the day and her taxi. Maybe you could have a look out for some birds. You might even see a lesser spotted Granny Murray. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey.